like the HDR look, the next set of controls are really useful. You can also use this to bring out contrast, but not over stylize the image. You'll find the basic controls for HDR under HDR Enhance. HDR Clarity is going to add selective dynamic range. At a high value, it can really get a little bit too much. But lower values can be useful to subtly add contrast into the different tonal ranges. HDR Smart Structure is useful for starting to bring out definition. And that's really quite helpful there in getting better separation in the grassy areas. Microstructure deals with the smallest areas. If you turn this up high, it tends to produce quite a bit of noise. There is a softness control to smooth that out, and now it starts to look a bit more like an impressionistic painting. I'm actually going to take this the negative microstructure, which smooths out some of the noise that HDR files tend to create. We'll set the softness a little bit lower. Now, that subtle adjustment has just allowed us to emphasize the grass ever so slightly and get more impressive looking clouds. What it hasn't done, because we kept these values lower, is created an over-the-top HDR look. Now, you can get that by just cranking these up, but I often find that a small amount works really well. Now, let's close this and come down to HDR Details Boost. This allows us to add detail to different ranges. Now, to do this, I'm going to punch in to 100% and take a look at the grass. You'll notice, for example, if we crank up small details, that all of a sudden the rocks and the texture here of the grass comes through. If we pull that down, it actually softens that area. Medium is going to deal with broader areas. So you see how medium starts to really bring out the texture in the sky and in the side of the lighthouse. I kind of like being able to better see the brick texture there, so that works well. Large is going to deal with the broadest areas. And again, it's really affecting the clouds and the tops of the grass there. But I'm going to back that off so it doesn't get too pronounced. You can also use the protection and the masking slider to limit the effects of HDR details boost. Small values have just done a nice job of helping to bring out the texture in the brick building here without producing a landscape that looks artificial. But if you want, you can take these to higher values and get really dramatic, hyper-realistic images. But I find a small amount or even a negative amount is often desirable. Now, if we look at our before and after, you see it's coming along nicely. 